Galaxy Z Fold 3 was the first device to bring S Pen functionality with it. You could obtain that S Pen functionality one of two different ways, either by buying the S Pen separately, or you could buy it with this kind of case right here, which was the Samsung Flip View cover with S Pen. Now, Samsung has continued that trend with the Z Fold 4, and today what we're going to be taking a look at is the upgrade to this, which is the Samsung standing cover with pen cover, I guess. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how these cases stack up as the upgrade to the old Fold 3 cover. So as always, let's take a look at what you get in the box with this standing cover with pen. So. The name here is a little bit tricky because you actually get two pieces in here, as you can see on the box, a standing stand and a S Pen holder kind of type cover thing. So what you get here is the back cover that sits on your device. You know, you just go ahead and put your Z Fold 4 right here and it pretty much just kind of clips on. So I'll move that to the side. You'll get some extra pen tips, and these are pretty rare because they don't usually come with a lot of devices these days. I don't think they come with the tablets. I'm actually having a hard time finding one for my tablet. And you get this right here, the little plastic rim that kind of completes the set. Well, at least the protective set. In here, you're going to get your S Pen. Here's your S Pen with the cradle that sits in. And on the back of the back cover here, you get the stand. This is essentially what you get in the box. The front rim, some replacement S Pen tips, the actual back piece, your S Pen cradle here, and your stand here. The MSRP on this case with all of the other attachments will set you back $89.99 or $90 if you want to round it off. It comes in three different colors, which I have here, the gray, green, and the sand. Not sure why they just didn't call that beige, but it's sand. And then you have the black. So the basic features of this case is that it protects both the back and the front of the device. It comes with the S Pen and the removable cradle, which snaps right onto the back of the case like this. That S Pen cradle and S Pen can be removed and swapped with a stand here. And that stand just goes up just like this. There's a little ridge right here. The case is basically made with post-consumer recycled content. From a design standpoint, both cases have a matte finish to both the back pieces and the front pieces. The back piece here is hard to the touch and doesn't flex that much. The inside of the back piece has a textured feel to it and has a made in Korea sign etched right into it. Facing towards the back, you have a cutout for your rear camera right here. On the top, you have two cutouts for both of your microphones. And at the bottom, you have one more cutout for another microphone and for your charging port. Unlike the back piece, the front piece is very, very flexible. One cool thing is that Samsung has added a ridge to this front piece here that makes it so that you have some space to open your phone easier with. I forgot to mention this before, but like the back piece, the front piece does have a little bit of a ridge here that helps it stay on the device. In addition to what looks like adhesive here, but it's really more of a rubber material that's used to keep it secure while it's on your device. The top, you have a cutout for one of your microphones here, and then a cutout for your speaker, while on the bottom, you only have a cutout for your speaker. As mentioned before, this case can be used to either carry your S Pen, like so, or it can be used to stand your Fold 4 up with the included stand here. Now, this stand only has one angle, which is 55 degrees. This standing piece here can actually be removed. However, that kind of defeats the purpose of having it to be used as a stand anyway, especially when it can just lay flat. You're just better off removing the whole thing if you don't want it on there at all. The cradle for the S Pen does hold it pretty securely, and it does require a little bit of force to actually remove it from the device which is good because it improves upon the Fold 3's design where my S Pen literally fell out like maybe four to five times while I owned that device. Overall, 
It is a very nice looking case that does add functionality while also managing to look aesthetically pleasing. One of the little intricate details I have noticed about the materials of the cases though, is the fact that the sand color seems to have a less grippy material than on the gray green color. Not sure about the black color, but I can imagine that if the gray green color does have a little bit more friction here on the back, that the black would probably match the material here. But yes, the sand color is a little bit more slippery so that's one thing to definitely note. Let's go ahead and move into the pros and the cons of this case. So, pros. The case provides a good amount of protection for the back of the device. The lip on the front of the cover makes it easier to open the device to the main display. It definitely holds the S Pen securely in the back here. The matte material and the placement of the S Pen on the back give you a better grip. It comes with the S Pen and that S Pen is identical to the previous Fold Edition. This S Pen arguably has better usability because of its bigger size. It also comes with the stand attachment and that stand attachment allows you to view the main display at a 55 degree angle. And this time around, you have more color choices with the addition of the gray green and the sand here. Well, moving on to the cons. So the first con is that this case is downright too darn expensive. Even with the S Pen and the ability to hold that S Pen, $90 is still a very, very big stretch in a lot of cases. Of course, you can probably find it on sale in different places, but yes, that is the number one con. It's very expensive. The next thing is that the front piece here is very flimsy. It's just not something that you can really have too much confidence in if you're taking it off of the device. The next thing is that the rubber material in here comes off extremely easy. As you can see here, the adhesive is completely gone from the bottom over here. The right side of the case is completely gone also. And on the top part of the case here, even though I'm holding this upside down, only part of the adhesive that actually remains is here. And this has actually picked up some particles, so it doesn't stay on very well. What I'm really trying to get at is just be careful how you handle this front cover here, because if the adhesive comes off, essentially the integrity of the case kind of goes away. And as you can see, this is over here pretty much just flexing. I can move it around. I can pretty much kind of do anything with it, but this is not ideal because it will not protect your device and it's probably gonna break at some point. The next con is the fact that it does not protect the hinge here in any way, shape, or form. You're pretty much gonna have your hinge exposed, which means if you drop your fold on it, it's pretty much gonna hit the ground so there's no protection for it. The next thing here is that the stand piece is very cheap and flimsy and with enough force, you can pretty much break it. So it's essentially kind of like that Nintendo Switch stand. Another con is the fact that there is no Bluetooth functionality with this S Pen. In order to achieve that functionality, you'd actually have to go ahead and buy the S Pen Pro, but then again, you'll also have nowhere to store that S Pen Pro. Next con, or maybe this is not a con, but for people out there who care about it, the case does take on fingerprint grease very, very heavily. You probably wouldn't see this much on the sand, but on the black and the gray green, you can definitely notice that it's there. And the last con is something that will be pretty important to people who have wireless chargers and swear by them like I do. Wireless charging is something that's supposed to be easy, and I'm not sure if Samsung's design team, the accessory design team at that really thought about this, but it is very hard to line up the charging coils when you have the S Pen attachment on. Of course, I've kind of learned how to do this, but if you're not really paying attention, if you move the phone or don't put it in the right position while you have the S Pen attachment attached, you pretty much won't get your phone charging overnight and you'll wake up with a dead battery. Of course, you can definitely remove it, but if you're forgetful like I am sometimes, you'll end up forgetting your S Pen and not have it with you when you want it. So yes, wireless charging can be a bit tricky, when you have the S Pen attachment on this device. And as you can see here, it's not charging. It really just comes down to the exact charger you're using and where the coils are placed in it. 
But yeah, you definitely want to look out for that, especially when using this case, because I have woken up with a dead phone. Okay, so that is all I have on these official Samsung S Pen cases with Stan. I probably said that wrong, but you get what I mean here. Overall, this is not a bad case. It's just the price makes it a little hard to approach and makes it much easier for people to want to go ahead and find something else. However, I've tried another case before from Amazon and if you are one to use the S Pen, there are not many great ones out there unless you want something that's pretty bulky or something that may potentially make you lose your S Pen. If you don't care about the S Pen at all and you want the stand, then yeah, of course you can go ahead and do that and there may be another case where you can just get the stand only, but if you want the whole package, this is what this is and it's not a bad case, like I said, it's just something that you really, really have to see if you can find it for cheaper than it actually is so you don't end up kind of regretting it later. I did get this free with my phone. I did not buy it. This one I did, just to show you all the color. But, but yeah, overall, decent case, not so decent price. So as always, I hope this video was helpful and wherever you are in the world, have a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, or a great night, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you as always.